وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مذل له ومن يذله فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فاتقوا الله عباد الله we commence by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, the provider, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the curer, the protector, the one in whose hands lies absolute control of every aspect of our existence. We praise him unconditionally. Also, we send blessings and salutations upon the best of creation, the most noble of all the messengers, the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who was sent to remove us from darkness and bring us into the light. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless him, his family, his household, his companions and humanity at large. Amen. My beloved brothers and sisters, we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we love the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Say to them If they really love Allah سبحانه وتعالى If they claim to love Allah سبحانه وتعالى Then follow me And Allah سبحانه وتعالى will love you in return and he will forgive your sins for indeed he is the most forgiving the most merciful we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love us beloved brothers and sisters we know as well that allah says to the prophet وسلم, allah says and tells us beautifully in the quran وَمَا خَلَقُتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me. Allahu Akbar. Beloved brothers and sisters, look at these two beautiful verses in the Quran. The first Allah is telling us, if you really love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you would want Allah to love you, and we all are in need of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He made us. Imagine when the one who made you loves you. Imagine if the one who made you loves you, and He is with you, and He loves you. Allah says, if you want to achieve the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then follow the messenger whom he has sent by the name Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If we really want to achieve the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then indeed we have to follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam everything he has taught 
everything he has taught we follow the teachings of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the same time we try our best to fulfill the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and at the same time we stay away from the prohibitions of allah and we will ultimately achieve the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love us beloved brothers and sisters from the second verse i read allah is telling us that the main purpose of our existence on the earth is to worship allah alone allahu akbar beloved brothers and sisters we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among his righteous servants and we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love us beloved brothers and sisters we know that we are not the only ones allah has created we are not the only creatures of allah there are so many other creatures of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah didn't make you and i alone allah didn't make you and i alone there are so many other creatures of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala part of understanding what allah wants from us is to learn how to live with the other creatures of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beloved brothers and sisters we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really to make us become better muslims we know that every time or sometimes we may falter we may err sometimes we may falter sometimes we make errors sometimes we may make some mistakes sometimes but beloved brothers and sisters at the same time we know that it is our duty to remind ourselves when we falter but the problem is how do we remind ourselves when we falter this has to be done in a beautiful way it has to be done in a beautiful way how do you remind your brothers and sisters when they falter it has to be done with respect it has to be done with love it has to be done with so much care and when we apply all these things love care respect then we may be able to succeed at the same time we should know that we don't have the capacity or the ability or the capability to be able or to guide someone our duty is to remind allah is the only one who guides all we can do is to remind for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we should know that allah is the only one who guides the best thing we can do is to remind for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but allah is the one who guides Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu istainu bis sabri was salati inna allah ma'as sabirin O oh, you who believe, seek help through patience and prayer for indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the patient Allah Akbar Allah is telling us you want the help of Allah seek for that help through bearing patience and through being prayerful here in this verse Allah is talking of the five daily prayers but at the same time beloved brothers and sisters we know calling out to Allah is very very important so at the same time as we are trying to remind ourselves to remind our brothers and sisters when they falter we have to be patient we have to give them time it may not happen once at 
a spot. It may take some time. And we have to be patient. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us success. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among his righteous servants. Beloved brothers and sisters, really, we all want to meet one another in Jannah al -Firdaus. We all want to meet one another in Jannah al -Firdaus. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us Jannah al -Firdaus. Beloved brothers and sisters, I just finished saying we have to be patient. We have to be patient when we are reminding others of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to be patient when we are correcting others or when we are advising others. When people err or make an error, how do we advise them? How do we correct them? This has to be done in a beautiful way. If we really want people to change, we have to be patient and it has to be done in a beautiful way. And that is when we may be successful. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us. And wallahi, beloved brothers and sisters, I promise you, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you, you don't have any problem. You don't have any reason whatsoever to worry. You don't have any problem. Imagine Allah is saying that he is with the patient. He made you and I. He knows what we want. He knows what we need. He knows the solutions to our problems. He knows, not just he knows, but he has the solutions to our problems. So imagine if the one who has the solutions to your problems is telling you that be patient and he is with you when you are patient. So what is the reason for us to want to swear or abuse or to curse one another just because we are thinking to ourselves that we are reminding them of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Beloved brothers and sisters, let's ask ourselves. The Prophet وسلم, would never act in such a way. He would never do that. Everything we do, we should ask ourselves. When we relate with people, when we interact with people, we need to ask ourselves, whatever we do, will the Prophet وسلم, ever do what we have just done? If the answer is no, then we have a lot to improve. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us, open our doors, and grant us tenth of doors. Beloved brothers and sisters, we love one another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The main purpose of this reminder is to tell us that patience is so much needed from us when we are calling or reminding people of Allah. We have to be patient. It may take one week, two weeks, one month, two months, three, four, five. Only Allah knows and Allah is the one who guides. Allah tells the Prophet ﷺ that you will never ever guide whomsoever you wish. But Allah is the one who guides whomsoever he wishes. You want to hear the verse? إِنَّكَ لَا تَهْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ You will never ever be able to guide whomsoever you wish. But Allah is the one who guides whomsoever he wishes. Allahu Akbar. Beloved brothers and sisters, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among the patient ones. And beloved brothers and sisters, I want to tell you something very beautiful. Wallahi, if Allah is with you, if Allah is with you, you don't have any problem. When Allah tells you he is with the patient one, try to be patient and see what happens. When you are calling out or reminding people of Allah, never ever give up. Never ever lose hope. 
in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the most merciful. We always say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most forgiving, the most gracious, the most merciful, or the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. We always say this. Allahu Akbar. Don't we believe that Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful? Allah says in the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Indeed, my mercy is way beyond my wrath. My mercy is way beyond my wrath. Imagine if Allah is saying His mercy is way beyond His wrath. Why should you ever think of losing hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he is the most merciful Allahu Akbar we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us from his mercy and beloved brothers and sisters wallahi I promise you if you engage or if you everything you do you make sure it is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you make sure that you do it for the sake of Allah Allah will help you when you are calling imagine in your own family Every time, perhaps, whenever your kids make a mistake, you always remind them in a beautiful way. Not just in your family, any other place as well. you always that kind of a person that, number one, whatever you're doing, it is for the sake of Allah, and you are reminding people of Allah, and you're always not tired, reminding them in a beautiful way. Wallahi, there will come a time when Allah will help you. You would sit... And you won't even say anything. Allah will just do something for you. You look at someone doing something wrong. You want to advise them or correct them. And perhaps you can't or something happens. You can't even talk to them. As you are sitting, Allah would do something that would make them remember. Allah would, Allah would do something make something happen that would make that person stop what they are doing just because of you just because of the love you have for that brother and that is why we always say beloved brothers and sisters we need to look at one another with the eyes of love and respect and mercy when you see someone doing wrong don't just look at them with an evil eye pray for them pray that allah guides them Pray that Allah makes them become better and then you would be happy. Pray that Allah guides them. Pray that Allah makes them become better and then you would be happy. You would never ever achieve happiness by being happy when you see them being wrong. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. Beloved brothers and sisters, we should try to not to ever, never, ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is the most merciful. Allah is the most forgiven, the most merciful. Beloved brothers and sisters, let's continue to call out to Allah. Let's continue to love one another for the sake of Allah. Let's continue to keep on trying to become better Muslims. Let's continue to remind people in a beautiful way Let's try to learn and to become better when it comes to using our tongues, when it comes to talking or interacting with people. We should try to do this in a much more beautiful way. We can do better. We can improve. We can do better for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, Allah will ask us whatever we do, Allah will ask us. We have to come on the day of judgment. And we would be there, and ourselves would talk for ourselves. Allah, ourselves would talk for ourselves. Allah Akbar. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors and grant us goodness in this world and the next. Remember to always call out to Allah. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار أو أرى grant us goodness in this world and the next grant us goodness in this world and the next and save God us from the hellfire protect us from the torment of the hellfire 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us, open our doors, grant us goodness in this world and the next, and to increase the love we have for Allah and the Prophet sallallahu and to increase the love we have for one another. Indeed, we believe Allah is the most forgiving, most merciful, and indeed we all want to ultimately one day get to Jannah al firdaws We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us Jannah al firdaws Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahu wa rabbana bihamdik Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين